all these kind of different people they could have picked from. They picked Yasuke. Why do they pick Yasuke? Because he's black. Dude, I feel like being a gamer, pejorative, when you're a, when you're a gamer, you just like automatically become like an entirely different group that must be protected. You know what I mean? We're going to talk about some that will really frustrate a lot of these guys. Assassin's Creed Shadows official world premiere trailer dropped. And I think it's pretty good. Who are you? Who do you serve? All I have ever known in my life, I will end. Our customs. I really hope that they don't f do the UB bulk, dude. I really, really, really hope. Cause this looks f dope. Obviously, I'm, uh, you know, um, this is has creep. We, you know, this is like this is perfect. And I think it's gonna get hit with the UB bulk. So we'll see. It's just gonna. I hope it's not like as bloated as um, Valhalla was. Greed. What's UB bulk bad code? No, when it's like a f entirely bloated game where they like Ubisoft bulk or UB bloat, as I understand it, as I call it, is literally when the gameplay could be fucking awesome. Like everything is designed for it to be perfect. And then they just try to 10 exit for no f reason. So then you end up doing 700 fetch quests, like literally, and it gets incredibly repetitive unimaginably repetitive and dull. I made the term up, by the way. It's not a thing that people say, I don't think. And it's just like probably one of the worst parts about these kinds of streamlined RPGs. I would say RPGs nowadays and maybe forever um, are, are made or broken on what their side quests look like. That's why I love Yakuza. Yakuza is so good that its side quests are in most instances, better than the main quest. The side quests have nothing to do with the main quest. Nothing whatsoever, right? You don't even get any additional benefits from half the side quests, but you do it anyway. The reason why you do it is because they're fun. It's fun as shit. Witcher is another incredible game that had phenomenal side quests. A lot of the Bethesda games have side quests that are better than the overall main quest. Faction quests specifically in Bethesda games basically f carry the game. Cyberpunk had phenomenal side quests as well. So I personally hope that this will do that and not fall into the same, like, fall into the same big bloated game that they made that's simply trying to give you the most bang for your buck for like $75. So they just make a lot of repeats. It's like, it's reskinned, insert X game. Climb a tower and get 90 map icons. Yeah. Also, yes, UB bloat also includes UI bloat, monetization bloat, and mini bloat, etc. Where it's just like, it makes you go crazy. It makes you lose your f when you're looking at it. But that's my only concern. That's my only concern about it. Um, I don't have any additional concerns. However, from what I understand, a lot of people are concerned about this game. You might ask yourself why, if you couldn't figure out if you couldn't figure out why, it is because the main character is potentially going to be the historical figure Yasuke, the Black Samurai. And that, of course, is completely unacceptable. Pronouns! There's a woman and also a Black Samurai. How do I reply to people who complain about Black Samurais and saying that even Japanese people don't like it? Wait, what? I don't give a shit if Japanese people like it or not. What do you mean? There's a... There is an unimaginable number of Samurai games that Japanese people make. And I love them. And I play them all the time. But do you mean what, what what are we first of all we don't even know if that's the case okay we don't even know if like japanese people have universally decided ubisoft's new game sucks because there's a black person and i doubt that 
I doubt that they would say that. Japanese people think black people are cool, just like everyone else that's outside of America and even most Americans. Yasuke has been featured in a lot of fiction, so I thought he would be well known, but he's actually quite unknown. During the Sengoku period, he was sent to Japan as a slave. His black skin was unusual, and he was taken in by Nobunaga. He was given a name and became a samurai and was a candidate for Castle Lord. He was on Nobunaga's side during the Honnoji incident. He was overlooked by the Akechi Mitsu, uh, Mitsuhide. His whereabouts are unknown after that. It's such a romantic story. No wonder he's the main character. This is a very famous uh, uh, character in Japanese history. And there are video games that have featured him before. There are, uh, a there's anime that has featured him before. Um, yeah, I, I think he was, yeah, see, Yasuke's in both of the Neo games and no Japanese person ever complained about that. These are white people. These are white people that are complaining about it. The descendants of one of Oda's samurais are also mad at the weebs. The Yasuke was a retainer, so he wasn't a samurai. Argument makes me roll my eyes so much. I'm descended from Fujikake Naga Nagakatsu, who was a retainer of Oda Nobunaga, aka absolutely a samurai. Why are people like this? It's pretty funny also that like uh, Yasuke was just a showpiece for Oda. He couldn't be seen hanging out with a commoner, so the so he gave him the title of a samurai. He didn't hold a keep or a fee for anything like that, so it was just an empty title. I know, but it doesn't matter because he's still very much a historical figure, and it is hilarious that it, it is hilarious that people like are upset about it, especially because the franchise that we're talking about is literally fictional. And on top of that, on top of that, it's a franchise where you snap back and forth between the future and the past over like a lineage of assassins or whatever. It, it's ultimately not real. Even if there was not a single black samurai out there and they made a black samurai, who gives right? But it is additionally funny that there was one and people are still mad. Time and time again, these so-called anti-SJWs display the most stereotypically uh, SJW tendencies. Yeah. It's funny because they're like, mm, I'm really yeah, mad. Like I'm really mad. I'm really mad that they didn't do this. I'm really mad that there's a black character. It's like, dude, shut up. So we got our first look at the new Assassin's Creed game. And I got to say, man, I, I'm not impressed. I'm actually just really annoyed right now. We have two main protagonists, one female, one male, just like Odyssey. We're going to be using Nao. I hope I said that right. A female Japanese character. And for the male character, they're going to be using Yasuke. Now, I'm annoyed because they're using Yasuke, and I'm going to tell you why. Yasuke is what they want to say is the first black Japanese samurai, when in all actuality, he was not even a samurai. He was a retainer, so he wasn't even a full-blown samurai. And for all of the characters they could have used for Japan, all these kind of different people they could have picked from, they picked Yasuke. Why do they pick Yasuke? Because he's black. Dude, I feel like... Being a gamer, pejorative, actually 100% overshadows, like, especially in this day and age, I guess, like, you know, race relations might not be as bad as we previously thought it was. Because, like, when you're a, when you're a gamer, you just, like, automatically become, like, an entirely different group that must be protected. You know what I mean? So everyone's a Japanese historian now or what? I mean, to be fair, to be fair, um, this is one aspect where uh, a lot of nerds won't around Japanese history. Nerds are completely unbearable when it comes to Japan. They still getting it wrong? No, I know, which is why it's so stupid. Nobody buying this shit. We already got like 50 open world samurai games. Z, 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 boring. So in context, that doesn't matter to me because in all the Assassin's Creed games, every single character has been of some kind of different race and nationality. So that doesn't matter to me. That's fine. But you have to understand what day and age we're in. You have to understand the kind of social shit that they want to try to get across in these video games now. So instead of using a Japanese man in a game based in Japan, like they did with the other Assassin's Creed games, Altair, he was an Arab, obviously. <laughs> Bro, okay. Bro said Arab. Altair, he was an Arab. God damn, son. What? I, I told the coworker I was hyped for this game and he said you would be because I'm black. Not sure how I feel about that, but still hyped. <laughs> yeah, you would be. Maybe he meant like you enjoy recycled IP. I don't know. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> One of my favorites, Connor in Assassin's Creed 3. He was Native American. That was fine. And that was fine. Oh, thank God. Wait, hold on. I didn't even finish the trailer. And you, will you continue down that river? Or choose another path beyond what we see? Then we must look for it together.
We must learn to trust. Rebuild. And follow the blade. I'm not interested in this game because when I was in high school, I got beaten up by a bunch of black samurai who called me the C word. <laughs> oh no, dude. Come on. Okay. Ellie. Oh, that's great. That's, a, that's, that's perfect. No notes, man. You got me. Okay. This game is just perpetuating anti-white uh, anti white racism. A lot of people are complaining that the characters are myth regardless of the facts, yet they can't comprehend that regardless if he's real or not. The fact that Yasuke was given a mythology status already gives credibility to make a video game out of it. Lots of video games and media are based on myths. Yeah, also, there's a lot of media based on Yasuke in general. We are the shadows that serve the light. The Netflix show wasn't that good. I'm sorry. The Netflix anime wasn't that good on Yasuke. And the most famous of them all, Ezio Auditore, who is Italian. So why in all those games would you have a character representative of the region they're from? But in this game, you want to demote a Japanese man and then use Yasuke. I understand why. We know why. Wait, what do you demote a Japanese man, bro? Come on. There's also, dude, dude, there's also a shit ton of Japanese dudes ripping through Japan. Like, I can't believe these guys who complain about a, uh, Assassin's Creed constantly juggling the same IP over and over again are now mad that they're doing something a little different than, like, literally the same game that you can play. Bro's like, why isn't this Ghost of Tsushima? I want this to be Ghost of Tsushima. Why are you not making Ghost of Tsushima? It's so weird, man. Anyway, the current state of gamers... Futuristic artifact with superpower in nineteen uh, in 1476 Italy. Black man in Japan, a black guy is the main character in feudal Japan. Lamau, remember when Assassin's Creed game cared about historical accuracy? Exactly. I feel like I want this game to be good because I think that the lore is fun. I am, however, worried that it'll have the same Ubisoft problems. But they're not going to tell you why because if you call it out, you're... But it's ironic because they're not even getting mad at that sh They're so invested in... They are so goddamn invested in the fact that there's a black character that they're not even like pointing the finger at obvious stuff that normally is annoying. Some kind of is or phobe or whatever. And since I'm black and I'm calling it out, that means that I must hate my skin or something. You know how they do. I just see this and my immediate thought is they did this for brownie points. I can't think of any other reason why you would have. Dude, internalized white supremacy is so f powerful. You got black dudes in the gaming space literally being like yeah they put this they put this black guy as the main character because like just because he's black and i hate that that's crazy man get well okay get well brother hopefully you get well one day have a assassin's creed game based in japan which we've been clamoring for since the beginning of assassin's creed and then have the main protagonist that is a male be black I see that and I'm like, that's that. Uh, there's no other reason than I want claps for it. There's no other reason. And I'm an Assassin's Creed fan. I've played every game. I love every game. And one of my favorite characters is actually Cassandra from Odyssey. So nobody can sit here and say, I don't like women or I don't like diverse people or whatever. When one of my favorite characters is diverse. Bro, chirping about, uh, you know, Yasuke being a DEI hire for a fictional video game where like there's epigenetic memories that cause you to go and like uh you know go sequentially through a lineage and become an assassin is insane okay it's, it's pick me behavior it's 100 internalized white supremacy i don't give a shit if people clip that okay that's ridiculous like you're saying that this this is a dei move by ubisoft that's crazy you know what the are you talking about is literally it's fiction man it's fiction calm down yeah, Oda Nobunaga was doing DEI. <laughs> Hell, Connor Kenway and Hate Them Kenway. Those are some of my favorite characters from Assassin's Creed. So before the idiots want to start, that's not the reason. The reason is I see straight through this bullshit. And I know exactly why they picked this character. It's like if you like the franchise, which is crazy, by the way, because there's the franchise does have some hard to play games on it. Then why don't you just wait for the game to come out? And if it sucks, it sucks. Like, there's a very high likelihood that if you have played all of the Assassin's Creed IP, you're probably going to love this shit. Okay? Like, considering that there's plenty of IP that, hmm, 
is hard. I suspect you will enjoy this quite a bit. So it leads me to believe that this level of chirping before the game even comes out makes me feel as though you're just chirping for this one reason. And it is especially funny considering that there have been a million Japanese guy samurai games. Like the fact that they are taking a different angle when there is Sekiro and Ghost of Tsushima right there should, you know, help you enjoy this more. Yasuke was a retainer. He wasn't a samurai. Sai retainers were a kind of samurai. Feudal Japanese history is very specific hyperfixation of mine. So let me explain the lore here. When someone says that someone is a retainer, they actually mean someone is a Kashin or a member of a clan's Kashindan. You can think of a clan's Kashindan as basically a standing army. The soldiers it keeps on retainer to fight wars at a moment's notice. Ashigaru were, in contrast, peasant conscripts. They were levied at an individual clan's need and every able-bodied adult man with a clan's territory was expected to be capable of answering the call to arms, similar to the way it works in feudal Europe. If you were in a clan's Kashindan, you were considered a samurai. Samurai during the Sengoku period basically just meant anyone who was a full-time soldier. The idea of a samurai as being a rigid military caste that you had to be born into is an invention of the Edo period. Now to clarify, samurai clans were indeed aristocratic noble families that you had to be born into. Being a member of a clan's Kashindan did not mean you were a part of the clan. But you did not need to be a part of the clan to be a samurai. Next thing, these guys are going to get mad that, like, uh, a white engine uh, became Hatamoto. You know what I mean? Bro, why is the why is a white why is a white man coming into the Japans and becoming Hatamoto and f***ing my wife? Okay? How is that possible? How is that allowed? I hate this. What are you f***ing... Uh, what's his name? Was it Bunta or whatever? Buntaro? Is that what, what his name was? <laughs> yeah. My man's chirping like he's Buntaro-sama. <laughs> Mariko-sama double back shot in one episode. That was the best episode. The concept of samurai actually pretty as a concept. Yeah, here's the other thing. Tom Cruise, Last Samurai. Incredible movie. I don't give a shit, okay? People will be like, oh, it's a white savior flick. It's a white savior flick. Don't care, okay? That was gas. You understand me? It still lives in my mind when he goes into the village and they like are going to assassinate him and then you stops right there within an inch of his neck hair it's gas it was mid you it was not mid young hassan watched that and thought that could be me one day okay you called that guy 100 percent correct based off his youtube he's farming angry gamers yeah ac revelation said in turkey he plays Ezio, italian ac black flag said in the caribbean he plays a welsh guy ac rogue Set in the American colonies, he plays an Irish dude. I'm with you, but it's a big rip of Shogun, but it was a great movie, and I loved it as a kid. Yeah, no, it was great. Um, the concept of samurai actually predates the concept of samurai clans. The first samurai clans that emerged during the Heian period were just full-time soldiers who became nobles. Samurai then became a form of nobility, but a form of nobility you did not need to be born into. Yasuke served as Oda Nobunaga's Kosho, which is a, equal, which is a personal servant slash bodyguard to Abusho, or the samurai equivalent of a general or lord, Kosho, critically, were considered samurai. Yasuke was a samurai. So are we going to claim that Oda Nobunaga invented woke DEI now or what? Yes, they are literally saying that. BA in Asian Studies focused on Japanese history says retainers were still samurai. Yasuke was favored by Nobunaga and was by his side until the Honoji incident where he ran to Nobunaga's son's residence and dueled the Akechi. It's real cope harder. My favorite part is that this discourse was a few months ago when this leaked, but we didn't know it was Yasuke yet. People complained saying it's not going to be Yasuke. He's the only black samurai. But now that it is Yasuke, they're complaining that it's DEI. Yes. Of course, Trey Watson, they, them, theirs pronouns, who is, uh, who has a BA in Asian studies with a focus on Japanese history, follows me because weebs attract one another. Otaku follow one another everywhere. <laughs> Like, Satunda users, exactly. Speaking of the Japans, I binged Tokyo Vice last week. That shit was so good. The second season was eh. It got better towards the end, though. The devs explain why they picked. With our dual protagonists, we have two fantasy. The samurai and the shinobi. We want the player to experience both, and we cannot squeeze both fantasy into one character because uh, samurai and shinobi came from a different uh, social class. They have different lives, so we cannot really uh, mix uh, them together. The historical character of Yasuke. Yeah, but but Yasuke is black. Meh. Isn't there just a bunch of edgy high schoolers or psycho boomers nowadays? Yes, it's literally psycho boomers who want to relive their glory days of being edgy high schoolers for the most part, if you want to be accurate. And all of them end up seeing the top of the hour ad break regardless. The dislike ratio for the reveal trailer. Jesus Christ, dude. We need to we need to call the gamers, dude. We need to lobotomize gamers oh my lord 
by the way, this is sarcasm, okay? I'm not being real. I'm not saying this for real. I know a lot of tensions are high right now against gamers. You've disrespected gamers. I myself, I'm a gamer. Not that you give a shit, okay? Holy f dude. There's something. We, we got to figure out what the hell's going on. We got to put a... We got to build a wall around gamers and figure out what the hell is going on. Okay. Jeez, I'm Lord mercy. Prove it. Start gaming right now. The only thing I'll start doing is serve you the top of the hour ad break right now. With Ubisoft, there are plenty of things you can shit on. Okay. It's ironic that they're upset at the one thing, I, in my opinion, that's cool and makes this game unique. Very odd. But I guess not so odd at all when you consider how gamers operate. Every f game coming out lately has to have a f discourse around it. It's so tiring. So brain broken, we can't even consume and enjoy things anymore. I know, it's really, really, really annoying. Which is funny because, like, gamers used to say that about, like, woke people getting mad. Gamers used to say that about woke people. They were like, oh, man, woke people ruin everything. Like, oh, God, they want to ruin games. They want to ruin games. And without a shred of irony, they're doing that. They're the most, they're the most severe champions of ruining gaming. They literally care more about, like, all video games not having, like, sexy white men or some shit be the main character than anything else. Woman who is very set on her goals. She's kind of got her heart on her sleeve and she'll say what she feels in the heat of the moment. And this intensity uh, that she brings as a shinobi, but that she also brings to her relationship. And this balances very well with Yatsuke, who is sort of a, a thoughtful level head to Naoe's fiery passion. We really thought about somebody like Yasuke, historically, who was able to come to Japan and have the life that he did there. Isn't the argument here more than there isn't a Japanese man main character? Wait, what? More that there isn't a Japanese man main character? I mean, who gives a Do you think this is the first time that, like, Asians are being used as a, as a mechanism for white resentment against black people? Are you new to the United States of America? I don't think Japanese people give a shit either. There's a gorillion games where... The main character is Japanese. There's also a Japanese woman as a main character as well, but I guess that's the reason why people are frustrated by that. There to enter service for Oda Nobunaga and achieve all of the things that he did. Like, what kind of person would go through all of this? So our Yasuke is very uh, intelligent, thoughtful, and respectful of this culture that he encounters, and that makes him a very nice sort of counterpart to Nawe. He's a bit mysterious as well, and that's something we get to see unfold as the game progresses. Did you play the Samurai Like a Dragon game? Yes, and it, although it was a little repetitive, especially towards the end, I still very much enjoyed it. Yeah, um, but as far as like, um, as far as what? Gamers are upset at menstrual leave? We're proud to a dessert. 39% of eligible reds have taken menstrual leave at least once. They're mad about this? Who gives a shit? Bro, what? I can't, I don't want to even cover this. I don't care. If you're mad about menstrual leave, I don't know what to tell you. Like, why do you f care? You're mad that like, which one is it guys? Do you like it when they're crunched? Do you like it when f workers, developers are, are doing crunch? Or do you hate it now? Like, what is it? Which one is it? Like people getting mad, people getting mad that like, there's even more free time for workers is insane to me. Oh, can't believe they made the warrior class who operated at the behest of Japanese rulers political. I know. Isn't it just masqueraded racism and sexism? I doubt those people are really interested in precise historical games. Yeah, of course not. Not gonna lie, my cock bled every month. I want some time off too. Yeah. Okay, good stuff. Glad that... Glad that this discourse is happening.